Today we're going to speak about the fruit of kindness. And our scripture verse is 2 Timothy 2 verse 24, which reads as follows. The Lord's servant must not be quarrelsome, but must be kind to everyone. Now, kindness is closely linked to love. It's meeting someone else's need. For example, in 1 Corinthians 13 verse 4, we read that love is kind. It's also closely linked to grace. And what is grace? It is giving someone what they do not deserve. Ephesians 2 verse 7 tells about the Lord's grace to us. It says that he might show the inc incomparable riches of his grace expressed in his kindness to us in Christ Jesus. And so the fact that God gives us what we do not deserve is an expression of his kindness. And it means that you and I need to give and be kind to people who don't deserve it. It's very easy to be kind to people who deserve it. But not to those that we think who don't. Matthew 5 verse 46, Jesus said, if you love those who love you, what reward will you get? Are not even the tax collectors doing that? So what does kindness really entail? Well, first of all, it entails to be sympathetic. For example, Joseph, when he was in prison, asked the cupbearer to remember him, to be sympathetic to his plight. And he said to him in Genesis 40 verse 14, But when all goes well with you, remember me and show me kindness. Mention me to Pharaoh and get me out of this prison. In other words, be sympathetic to me. And it means that we identify with the plight that other people are in. Kindness also means to do someone a favor. We have an example of that in Acts 27 verse 3, where Paul was a prisoner on his way to Rome. But we read that the centurion, whose name was Julius, in kindness to Paul, allowed him to go to his friends so that they might provide for his needs. I mean, that's unheard of, that a prisoner should be allowed to go and have such liberties. Kindness also means that we treat someone with benevolence. A wonderful example of that was when David invited Mephibosheth to live with him in the palace. And Mephibosheth, expecting to be put to death because that's what kings did. When they came to the throne, they killed all the relatives of their predecessors. And so Mephibosheth was living in fear, but David called him to the palace and said to him, don't be afraid. I will surely show you kindness for the sake of your father, Jonathan, and I will restore to you all the land that belonged to your grandfather, Saul, and you will always eat at my table. That is kindness. Kindness also means that we have to forgive others. We read, for example, in Ephesians 4 verse 32, be kind and compassionate to one another, forgiving each other, just as in Christ, God forgave you. And when I forgive someone, it means that I do not try to get them back. It means they owe me nothing. It means that I treat them as if, I, as if they had not offended me. That is kindness. And a wonderful example of that was the way Joseph forgave his brothers. And they certainly didn't deserve it. We see this wonderful kindness in the Lord Jesus when they brought that woman to him who was caught in adultery and you can read about it in John chapter 8 and Jesus they the others wanted to the Jewish leaders wanted to stone her and Jesus said well if you've never sinned you're going to throw the first stone and quietly they slipped away and listen to the kindness in his voice Jesus straightened up and asked her woman where are they has no one condemned you no one, sir, she said. Then neither do I condemn you, Jesus declared. Go and leave your life of sin. That's kindness. And you know what is the result when we are kind to others? We actually benefit ourselves. Because Proverbs eleven seventeen says, A kind man benefits himself. And the other day I heard of a psychology professor who asked his students 
to do one pleasurable thing can be anything. Go out for dinner, eat an ice cream, go to the movies, whatever. And to do one act of kindness. And then to describe how they felt afterwards. And the result was that acts of kindness produced in these students a far more positive and upbeat feeling than doing something pleasurable. And so we only benefit ourselves. And you know, the more we focus on being kind to others and treat them with kindness, the more kind we will become by nature. Shall we pray? Lord Jesus, we have such a wonderful example in you because you were so kind to us and you gave us what we didn't deserve. You treated us with such sympathy and compassion. Lord, may we become more like you and treat others in the same way. For your namesake we ask it. Amen. <music>